Well, Aboriginal activists are planning on using Invasion Day protests to demand freedom for Palestine and call on the Albanese government to cut all ties with Israel. Independent Senator Lydia Thorpe, of course, is leading the charge on this. She told The Australian today, quote, Palestinians know what the trauma of invasion, of dispossession, state violence and occupation is like, just as First Peoples in this country do. We share a reality of ongoing genocide and are both yet to experience liberation and the acknowledgement of our sovereignty. Our struggle under settler colonialism is one struggle. Together we're fighting for our humanity, for freedom, for land back and for lasting peace. Oh, my God. Joining me now is former Labor MP Michael Danby and Sky News contributor Nicole Flint. Michael, what a load of crap. Caleb, you, I, you introduced a great word to your listeners, cookers, um, but people who wear the tinfoil hat. I mean, Lydia does so much damage to the Indigenous cause with her uh, cooker-like behaviour. There's another bloke at PricewaterhouseCoopers who's apparently, um, you know, saying the same kind of stuff. What's happened to the world? It's become upside down. I think October 7th has unhinged a lot of people. First of all, there's the war that's going on over there, and then there are all of the cookers, like Lydia Thorpe and the bloke at PricewaterhouseCoopers and... Um, there's so many of them. It's unhinged people. I know. I feel like there was... It's the same with anti-Semitism, right? Like, there's always been this undercurrent there, but I, I think October 7 just sort of put it on steroids and, and I think made a lot of people who otherwise would not have felt comfortable to say things publicly come out and say them, Nicole. But to try and draw a parallel between Indigenous people in Australia. I mean, you know, there's, there's no wars going on here. And what's going on between Israel and Gaza? I mean, not only is it wrong, it's just thoroughly offensive. Yes, it is, Caleb, and it's just bizarre. And I think we should take this opportunity to remind ourselves that it's the Australian Greens that we have to thank for Senator Lydia Thorpe yeah, being yeah. in federal parliament. And yeah, yeah. Uh, most <laughs> disturbingly, thank you, Michael, most disturbingly, she's in federal parliament until 2028. You know, I just looked this up, Caleb. I was like, oh, hopefully we'll be rid of her at the next federal election. But I think her term's not up until 2028. So... Look, you know, she loves uh, these attention-seeking stunts. I just think it's really disappointing to see this behaviour on behalf of our Jewish population in Australia and, and also on behalf of Israel, all the Jewish people around the world who feel completely under threat at the moment by these sorts of appalling uh, views and protests. And I really, really hope that we might see Senator Thorpe, although I doubt we will, focus on what we should all be focusing on, which is solving Indigenous disadvantage, especially in the remote and rural communities, which should always have been the focus, not these sorts of issues that she... I, honestly, I think she does it for attention, but also the failed voice referendum, that $450 million could have helped a lot of mm. uh, women and children in particular in remote Indigenous communities. You know, when um, the Victorian government... Uh, scrapped the, the Commonwealth Games. I, I thought this has got to be the greatest backflip of all time. But uh, the more I look at the Victorian government, they keep backflipping. They should have just had a, a backflipping Games or had the Commonwealth Games with an event simply for backflipping because they've done it again today. One of their key election promises was uh, to put electronic monitoring devices on youth offenders. They've quietly dumped that now, Michael. Uh, there you are in um, uh, Victoria. What is going on with the the former um, Andrews government, now the Allen government? It would seem a very simple thing to do. Have they not looked at Queensland recently? Soft on crime, um, against the interests of working class people who have to endure all of this uh, violence from these uh, youth offenders. Uh, our environment minister, Lily D'Ambrosia, isn't a cooker, but she wants to take away... Um, our gas cookers. I mean, I, I don't understand the priorities <laughs> of this government. They are um, cooked, if, as far as I'm concerned. That the uh, uh, like the federal government, 
you and Nicole, Caleb, have to understand this is not a normal Labor government in Victoria. They're the socialist left. Um, mm. Many of us fought them for decades just because we knew that if they come to power, this is the kind of policies that we'll have. Um, uh, it's not in the interests of ordinary people for violent youth offenders not to be monitored and prosecuted. Um, it only um, supports the criminals. And Labor shouldn't be in favour of the criminals. We should be in favour of the poor people, the working class people who are affected by these uh, types.